Hello and welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be unboxing the June 2020 Zobi Box. The Zobi Box is a $40 bi-monthly mystery box with pop culture themes and the theme for June is the 90s. And this is actually the second time they have done the 90s theme. They did one last year, it was a great box. So hopefully this one lives up and maybe even surpasses last year's box. It's gonna be hard to do, but uh, Zobie's never let me down so far. Now, I wanna say thank you so, so much to Zobie Productions because they sent this to me free of charge so I could open it up and share it with you guys. So without further ado, Let's crack this bad boy open. Bonnie from the future jumping in. Real quick, I wanted to correct myself because there was actually two different versions you could have bought this month. The standard $40 box or the $60 add-on box. And what I'm unboxing is the add-on box. So there is a bonus item in this box. So I just wanted to correct myself real quick and that was it. So let's get back to the video. So I'm just going to set this to the side and I'm going to blindly pull out each item, but I am feeling a Funko Pop. So that is going to be our signed item. I'm going to put that on the ground covered in tissue because that will be the last thing that I visit. But now I'm going to dive in for our first item. All right. And the first thing I have got up a little bit of tissue paper, but also a Zobi yo-yo. Oh my gosh, I have never been good at yo-yoing, so I'm not gonna do it for you now. But this is a really cool, probably like a little add-on because they did that last time too. They put some snap bracelets in last year's. So they threw in a little 90s add-on with their logo printed on it. That's fun and that's really cool. Again, I was never properly taught how to use a yo-yo or just, I just couldn't do it. I didn't have the skills required. So <laughs> I would always try, but it would always just unravel, fall to the floor and that was it. And then I have to pick it up and just wrap it back. So I don't have the skills to show this off, but this is a fun little throw in. The next item up, oh, this is hefty. Oh my gosh. This is huge and very gold and very shiny. Let's see, we have got our prop replica for this month. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, but it looks like it is a belt buckle. <laughs> this thing is very heavy. If you're putting this on your belt, you're gonna have to cinch that belt because this is gonna be pulling your pants down. But we have got an eagle, oh, it says dread on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to read on camera, but it says dread. So this is from Judge Dread. So I'm gonna assume that this is like his badge, that this is what the, uh, the judge badge looks like. I have seen the Sylvester Stallone Judge Dread. It's been a few years, but uh, this is really impressive and it's so shiny, I like that. Um, but yeah, it's metal, it's super solid. It's very good quality and it is awesome. Okay, the next item up is going to be our pen. And, oh, oh, oh cool. Okay, it took me a second to realize what I was looking at, but we have got a Power Rangers pin. This is a giant circle. The Zobi pins are always really large and you can see the different animals that apply to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We have a saber tooth, a T-Rex, a Triceratops, a Pterodactyl, and a Woolly Mammoth. I've got my little guys set up right here. That's really cool. It took me just a second to, to realize what I was looking at. I was like, is there a Jurassic Park? theme that I forgot about. No, this is the Power Rangers and this is really cool. I like the designs. I like the color choice and I really like this pin. So awesome. Also, I forgot to show you, um, my pin number is 319 out of 500. Our next item up is going to be our art piece. And let's just see what we've got. Okay, we have got our Forrest Gump artwork. 
and get it out of this bag so we can see it better with no reflection. Here we have it. Now, at first glance, I thought this was gonna be a Saving Private Ryan um, artwork piece, but I was like, I don't remember them saying Saving Private Ryan. Is that even a 90s movie? It might have been early 2000s, I don't know. But it is not, it is um, Forrest Gump in his army gear. And then on the bottom, there's Forrest holding Bubba. Bubba was so sweet. Um, and then this is signed by the artist as well as numbered. I got number 37 out of 525. And I don't think this is my favorite depiction of Tom Hanks right here, but I do think that this one looks just like him. So made up for it a little bit there. So we have our artwork. Now, because this is the more expensive tiered box, this is the $60 box, as opposed to the standard 40, there's going to be two autographs. So I have the Funko Pop on the ground, but I also have a signed paper item still in the box. So there are two more things to go. Let's dive in. So I'm going to do the paper signature first, and then I'm gonna save the Funko Pop for last. So let's just see. I know which franchise is left, and it is Home Improvement. So whoever it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. And we have got one of the boys. We have one of the boys. This is a good picture too. I'm going to assume that it is um, this one in the middle, the oldest. I, okay, I have to try to remember their names because I know Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I know his real name, not his um, his show name. I think the youngest was Mark. And I think the oldest was Brad. Is that right? Brad. Um, but we have got, I believe it's going to be Brad's signature. I'll have to verify on the recap sheet, but this is really really cool i definitely watched this show a lot growing up i thought it was hilarious and these kids were a little bit older than me i think it was about his age when i was watching this show but um yeah this is super super exciting but we still have one more autograph to go oh my gosh and then right before we see our Funko Pop, there is a little card inserted in there and it says, I hope you enjoyed the second volume of our 90s box. For all the support, I included an extra gift from Team Zobi. P.S. I fully expect some trick videos. Not from me because I cannot. I am incapable of doing yo-yo tricks. But it is signed by the owner of Zobi JR, which is very cool. And I like this funky background. I like these colors. They kind of match me. All right, and you know what that means. We are on to our last item, and it's our Funko Pop. So these come really well protected. They come in tissue as well as in bubble wrap and in a Funko Pop protector. So these are not gonna be getting damaged. So, all right, I've got the front here. Are you ready to see what we got? Ooh! <laughs> We got Jason, we got the Red Ranger without his helmet too. I don't know if there is a version of Funko Pop with the helmet versus without, I don't know. Um, but that doesn't matter because I'm just like blabbering because I'm excited because we got the Red Ranger. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know the actor's name. I will have to look that up on the recap sheet. I was looking to see if there was a card that said his name, but we do have the JSA witness protection authentication card on the back. And this is really, really cool. Um, so this was, I believe the add on item. If you got the $60 version of the Zobi box. So if you got the $40 version, it would, um, end with the last autograph I just got for, um, home improvement. But and if you got the $60 version, then your 20 bucks would be worth it because I'm sure this would go for a lot of money because people love the Red Ranger. I know my husband does. I always loved the Blue Ranger and the Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger, um, but this is definitely a lot of the boys' favorites. So this is super, super cool to receive and I, gotta find out what his name is. Let's look at the recap sheet. So here is the recap sheet for June 2020, the 90s volume two box. 
there's a lot of stuff on here, so let's just start right on up. First up, we have our autograph. It says your 8x10 photo was hand signed by Brad Taylor in Home Improvement, Zachary Ty Bryan. And then your exclusive 8x10 fan art print was inspired by Forrest Gump, created by Chadwick Caverland. Your prop replica belt buckle was inspired by Judge Dredd, created by Dark Matter Props. And your exclusive enamel pin was inspired by Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It does not say who designed it though, but look at that rare one. Look at the X out of 100. Oh, if I had gotten that out of an open the moon. That's a really cool pen. Um, and then down here we have our Funko Pop was hand signed by Austin St. John. So that is who signed the Red Ranger Jason Pop. And it says, watch out for randomly inserted Easter egg bonus items. So you could have gotten an Easter egg of another autograph. This 8x10 photo was hand signed by Sandy Selner. And it looks like she is the voice of Alpha from Power Rangers. So that's awesome. Um, and then you could have also gotten one of these metal trading cards of Judge Dredd. And there were 50 of those, and it was done by Josh Lyman. Wow, this was a really stacked box. This was awesome. This is the June 2020 Zobie box. And there you have it. That was our Tribute to the 90s, Volume 2, June 2020 Zobie box. What an awesome box. That was a ride and I enjoyed every moment of it. Thank you so much again to Zobi Productions for sending this to me. It was radical. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And I hope to see you again soon. So until next time, goodbye and good luck.